Findings form 1 to 5 connector. You, I'm using about 10 inches of um, artistic wire so that I can go around all of these uh, loops. Uh, of course, the more loops you have, the more uh, distance the wire needs to go. Uh, insert the end of the wire into the hole that's provided and bend down. This gives you something to pull against. Go around the first small pin, around the top pin, then back on the outside of this pin and on the inside of the first pin on the five. Twist and wrap the wire using the findings form as well as pulling on the wire with your hand so that you get nice tight wraps. Just go over, around, and then down through the next one, and around, and then finish with the last one. Then go back up and go on the outside of the small pin and up and over the top pin once again. <clears throat> now you use the included uh, pushing tube to push down all of these intersections of the wire. This, this helps to form this uh, component so that when you pull it off it'll be nicely made and just about ready to go onto your jewelry. So to release you need to unbend that bottom wire and then push up to pull these wires off the findings form just like so. Now we're going to finish the top by cutting these wires uh, both here on the front loop and on the back loop. Now once you get proficient with this you can take one wire and wrap around the, the other wire but in the beginning it's good to learn how to use these loops to your advantage. So I'm going to cut that just a little bit shorter. You want to make sure these are about the same length. And then we're going to grab both of these and twist and then grab both of the wires on the other loop and twist so you have them both going in the same direction. We're going to angle slightly and then angle the opposite one slightly. Those are going to set together right side by side and you can dangle from that. You can use it as a bail. It can also be used um, to dangle from ear wire. So that is your one to five connector. Just some little minor adjustments to make this come nice and flat against one another. And then just close these rings up just enough so that they won't fall off of your piece. Just like so. So that's a nice connector. This uh, findings form can also be used to make a dangled one to five connector. And to do that, you just need, of course, two pieces of wire. We'll make the bottom piece first. Um, again, pushing. And we're going to bring this just around, because we're only making the bottom portion, we just go around these loops down here much like we did the first time, only we're omitting going up to the top loop pin. And once we get here, we're going to angle this back in and just bring it about up to where that, um, where the hole is so that we can get the same shape. And then push again with this pushing piece that comes with the findings form get those nice and tight down on the bottom. Then to release, you just release that and push this up. And I'm going to cut these right up in here, one side then on the other, making sure that we get that flush cut left on the piece, on the actual piece. Now that's our bottom portion. We just need to close these loops. 
there. And now we take our other piece of wire and we need to make the, um, the portion that's going to hold our dangle. So the best thing to, that I like to do is to hold the wire and wrap all the way around this outside loop, then go up and around, and then down and go around the outside of that. So that's going to be our holder. Best always to push this down so that those intersections are nice and flat. Remove that wire. Cut these with the flush cutter. Now I want to take a twist on the top. The best way to do it is to use two pairs of pliers hold firmly but not too firmly and just twist that about one turn. These then get I want them to be just like an eye pin so I'm going to correct that so that it's right on the on the, the neck is it has sort of like a little head on it and then twist these so that they will be ready to be hooked on to our component piece on the bottom. Make sure these are open. Then we're going to angle this one down and going to angle this one down as well. Don't worry too much about the angles at the moment. We just need to kind of size them with our piece. And those look good and they're open so we can snap that on. Close the ends. And we have our component that's a dangle. This findings form, the 1 to 5 uh, connector, allows you to make these two connectors as well as many others. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be doing many, many different things. And as always, the findings form allows you to make multiple items that look the same every time.